Let's run on back and intercept those bastages. Man, couldn't they have come like a couple of minutes earlier while we were still there? There goes more nails. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to just go out and have a casual loot run for this episode. Uh, so it's been a few days since I last played. I did a actually did a live stream on Saturday, I think it was. Um, And so, yeah, this is basically the next episode after the, that live stream. And we are... Uh, I'm working on nails. I don't quite have my, my requisite 300 nails that I like to have before we do our next building session, but that's kind of the next big thing on the list is for us to, uh, whoops, for us to expand the base. I've been playing a lot of Seven Days to Die, and so I'm all messed up on how to <laughs> use my bow. Better figure it out really quick or I'm going to get et here. Uh, so yeah, we had a great uh, time on the live stream on Saturday, and um, let's see, we raided Alpha and Bravo, and oh, we got some cotton seed. Nice. What else did we do? We did some looting, fought off the hunters a few times, and yeah, just generally had a pretty good time. So um, that's pretty much it for now. So let's get get to looting here. Looting and tooting. Well, maybe not tooting. <laughs> <coughs> what in the heck am I saying? Ah, uh, yeah, so... I got, uh, let's see, I have one lock pick on me, so hopefully we can, we'll come across a lock crate. It's about, yeah, it's about noonish. Uh, it stormed all morning, though. And uh, we just want to, I just want to get to that 300 nails. I'm a little bit low on wood, too. I'm not, like, extremely, oh, we need more chickens. Uh, I'm not extremely low on wood, but a little bit low. And so we'll probably also stop and grab grub trees as we go oh here comes the rain again here comes the rain again so this chicken here we kilt so we'll just pick him up and take him with us and uh yeah like i said once we get those 300 nails and maybe a little bit more wood too uh then we'll then we'll start our next building uh episode and hopefully we can get that done and so the next episode we'll be building because i excited to continue expanding the base we're gonna start building up now uh, on the base that's the that's the next plan uh, for the next building session anyway okay so let's grab this grub tree here and start replenishing our wood I'm a bit low on uh, cloth too so we're gonna be you know hitting wolves and uh, you know maybe lower level bears one of the viewers on the live stream was telling me that level one brown bears actually give a, a decent amount of loot not to not to kill the black bears but the brown bears so we're gonna try and um test that theory to see if that works for us i haven't really paid attention you know too much between you know the difference between a, a brown bear and a black bear in regards to the loot it seems to me like, sometimes you get a lot of loot and sometimes you don't. But, again, that could be because when I the times that I didn't get a lot of loot because it was a black bear. So, yeah, when we come across level 1 brown brownies, we'll go ahead and kill them. And see if, you know, on the average we get a decent amount of loot from them. I don't even remember when the next attack are going to come from the hunters. I know that we had several attacks during the live stream, so hopefully they're not going to harass us today since, you know, I'm not over there. But if they do, they do. You know, what can you do, right? Now, the base should be in good condition, so we're doing good there. Uh, if you didn't catch that live stream, I did also make an air conditioner. Um, so we have an air conditioner in the house. That's a level 2 brownie. Um... So I really kind of want to just look at the level ones and see if, you know, we get a decent amount of stuff from them. Yeah, and we'll leave the level the black bears alone for now. Uh, well, um, unless they don't leave us alone. That is, and we can't escape them. Uh, there was some scrap 
there. But I want to make sure that bear is not, still not tracking us. I wouldn't think so. Is he? He is still tracking us. What a bastard. All right. Well, we'll, just, we'll leave that scrap alone for now. What a blustery day we have. It is... What is it? It's July. We are in July, ladies and gentlemen. Seems just seems like it was yesterday that we finally got winter got over. Now it's a July already. It's crazy. All right, those are bunnies. We don't really care about them so much right now. Though I guess I could kill them for for hide. We do need hide. I kind of rather get that from the wolves and the bears though, just because we get more more goodies in addition to the hide. Okay, there is an ammo crate over here. And I saw something over this way, if I recall correctly. Did I? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just imagined it. Okay, we got a level 2 brownie and a level 1 wolf. Let's get the wolf. Yeah, most other video games that have archery in them... You aim with the right mouse button, and you draw back with the left mouse button, and then when you release the left mouse button, the arrow releases. And that's kind of what my muscle memory is tuned into right at the moment, because I've been, like I said, I've been playing a lot of, well, actually more specifically Undead Legacy, which is an overhaul for seven days a day. In this game, though, you, you aim with the right mouse button, but you have to... You have to click the left mouse button to actually fire. So it's a little bit different. And sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to get used to going back and forth between those two. All right, that's a decent amount of stuff. Nothing too too terribly phantasmagorical, but nothing too bad either. It's worth it. A little extra ammo, some nails, stuff like that. So, all right, that's our only lock crate we're going to get today because that's the only lock pick I had made. But let's continue looking for normal crates and uh, see if we can get those nails up to 300. And then if we do, like I said, I'll, uh, I'll probably do some off-camera logging to get the wood and more specifically the planks up a little more. And then uh, we'll do building in the next episode. Looking forward to it. Okay, let's get this wolf here. And we got a building crate off that way. Been using the premium arrows to kill hunters, and they're just so effective at killing the hunters. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm not even really using my gun so much anymore. I've, I want to take the, I want to take my bow down into the caves. It's a huge risk, but I mean, it would just, I think, you know, work so much better for killing the hunters. But it would really, really suck if we lost that bow, though, because it's a level 3 bow. I mean, it's an expensive weapon. But it's super effective. Oh, there's a chicken. All right. Let's grab this crate and then see if we can apprehend this chicken without killing him. Because I, I have a level 9 chicken back at the base, and that chicken is probably could be level 10 by the time we get back. So we definitely need some more chickens. I don't, I couldn't hear the squawk from this guy, but he's dead. So it's really loud with this freaking uh, storm, man. Holy cow. All right, let's grab this ore here. I'm doing really good on zinc and copper. Um, very, very low right now on potassium and iron's not in terrible shape, but I mean, you know, you know how it is. You never have enough iron. <laughs> So we got another building crate here. We don't want to get too much further that way or we'll encroach on Charlie's land. Okay, we got 44 nails. That's probably going to get us up to 300, I think. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many I have back at the base, but it, that's going to be close. Okay, that's a level 1 brownie. All right, let's bring him over here. Okay, let's see... Um, 
Let's see how much stuff he's got. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, you know, a couple meats, three fat, some hide. That's not bad at all, really. So, yeah, we'll just keep thumping these level one brownies and seeing if uh, they keep producing. We, you know, you don't really know for sure until you've done enough of them to where, you know, you're getting a good average on, on the return. Because there is, I think there is some RNG involved, right? So, all right, let's get some kelp too because I'm kind of low on that. And of course, if we see any uh, clams in the water, we'll grab those too. Oh shit. Oh, that scared me. That always scares me. All right, well, uh, looks like our base is going to take a bit of a pounding. We're... Way too far away to get back on time, so can't do anything about it other than repair when we get back and exact revenge, which we will. <laughs> yes, we will. Okay. All right. Looks like this is a kelp way down here. And is that one too? Nope, that's not one. And I am not spotting anything that looks like a clam. That might be there. It's too hard to tell until we get closer. Yeah, you know what? I think it is. All right. Nice. So let's grab this clam, get some pearls. It's starting to get dark, so we probably should think about heading back here pretty soon. Um, another, uh, oh, crap. Another upcoming episode that we're going to be doing here pretty soon is we're going to go check out the new the new part of the map here in the summertime uh, because if you recall if you've been following the series we did go look at it in the winter time and at night no less but I haven't been back there since then so you know that's going to be a, a probably a two-day trip for us so we'll just bring enough stuff to spend the night and you know because it's summertime we should be fine in terms of not getting too cold we might get a little nip nipster getting over there because if we come from this direction, we have to cross over the mountain. But again, not not really worried about that in the summer. All right, we got a. Oh, that's just a rock. That's just a rock. Okay, let's kind of go over this way. Uh, there's there's another brownie. I don't know. Oh, there's a chicken too. All right, let's see if we can bring a chicken back with us. Nice shooting there, Tex. I think that arrow broke. Let's try this again. Nope, we killed him too, man. We're 0 for 3 on getting chickens alive today. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to butcher you, and we're going to butcher you. And then we should be able to pick this stuff back up. Oh, I should have picked him up first, so let's get rid of that for a minute. Butcher you, and then pick that back up. All right, we're good. Um, and we're full, too, so it's time to head back anyways because it's dark. So let's head on back to the ranch. We'll see um, what kind of damage those guys did. If we're lucky, uh, maybe one or even both of them got caught underneath the deck, in which case it's pretty much in a free freebie kill for us that happens quite a bit it does indeed and then I just go right up behind him and introduce them to my axe I'll run along through here and see if we see anything um, there's a level 3 bear there we're not gonna mess with him let's see if this is a level 1 brownie it's a level three brownie. Nope, we're not messing with him. We could kill him, but not gonna do it. A uh, level two wolf right here. Oh my goodness, what is that? That's steak. Um, what could we part with? Why don't we? Yeah, why don't we make? bunch of those we'll ditch this and we'll grab the steak okay now we really got to get back because it is dark let's get our light on here so we can all see a little bit better there's a uh, another level two wolf
Man, I can barely see. <laughs> We're doing archery by braille here, you guys. Archery by braille. All right, let's get the hands washed, get the light back out. Uh, we can't grab that because we just used up our slot for fiber that had fiber in it for steak. So no more picking fiber on this run. Not going to happen. There's Charlie over there. So the plan for the base is we're going to we're going to start building up. Uh, I still am pretty sure I will eventually enclose the wall uh, or make the wall I should say too high all the way around for two reasons uh, for symmetry for one. But the day's going to come when we're going to take Charlie out. Um, you know with the with the BCU cracker the base cracker, and when and and what what will happen then is they'll repop back into the world somewhere else and if they go anywhere over there you know then they'll start attacking us from this side so so we're going to really want to make sure that the base is able to handle that all the way around right now i've never had an attack on this side i've had an attack on the front a little bit a few times from chaz and every once in a while bravo will run around the back side and attack back there but not very often but but this side here which would be what i guess the north side uh, never been hit to my knowledge on that side at all but like i said that could happen in the future so we're just gonna enclose the whole base but before we work on that i want to work more on the main structure uh for this next round of building yeah see look he's caught right there oh man sucks to be him sucks to be him are they do i have two caught or just the one yeah it's just him all right, uh, let's get our axe out. I can't, there we go. I couldn't get to his head very easily. Okay, uh, let's take this, this, oh, yeah, take all. Um, we dropped probably the weapons parts. Oh, no, fish oil. Do we have weapons parts? Yeah, we do. We have five weapons parts. We was, where do we get those from? Do we get those from the locked crate? Honestly, I don't really care about fish oil. I've got like over a full stack of it. Um. Okay, so it looks like it. he's the only one that actually got stuck. I don't see any visible damage on the base. That doesn't mean it's not there, but I don't see any. Um... Okay, that should give us everything except for these blueberries. So why don't, here, let's pick this up. So why don't we drop those for a second, grab these, make some blueberry water, and then pick these back up. Okay, so yeah, uh, nothing apparently damaged here. Our chicken is now a level 10. So it's time for that chicken to graduate. You know what that means. I know what that means. I don't think the chicken knows. He's going to find out here pretty quick, though. Uh, all right, let's see. What do we want to do first? Let's get a couple here. Let's put turn our light on so we can all see, and then I can turn this light off to save the battery. Uh, I want to put this stack of steak in there. Why don't we pull these two eggs out and cook the other two? Uh, steak and eggs. That is liver. I have one stack of liver, so why don't we make some liver and onions with these livers? How many antidotes do I have? Oh, I only have one. Um, maybe we should pull two. Let's pull three of those back out. And let's make... Let's actually make some antidotes. More antidotes. Okay, so we're going to make three to use up those other livers. Okay, that can go in there. This. Uh, oh, yeah, right, this. I couldn't, I, I forgot for a second what it was I was trying to put back in there. Oh, 292. We're still, we still not have that 300 nails yet. We're super close, though. 
One more, probably just one more run is all it'll take uh, to get those. Okay. Um, yeah, we only have 25 cloth. That's that's as low as I've been in, in a while. Let's put the fat in here. Uh, we'll burn the chicken meat for mass. Put the seeds in here for now. Uh, we replanted the garden on the live stream too, so the garden's going to be a while yet. Um, let's get that cooking up. We didn't get any potassium at all while we were out and about, so that kind of sucks. Oh, uh, yeah, we got two full stacks of that, so that can be turned into mass as well. These can go here. Do we have 100 mass? Yes, we do. Let's throw that stuff in there. These can go in here. And we have our three anthrotes. Magnum rounds in there. Okay, so we're up to 18 magnum rounds. That's pretty good. Let's grab this out of here. Uh, in fact, we... Uh, yeah, we could actually stand to eat one of these. And let's also have a tomato soup. And we need to drink, so let's have a blueberry water. Is that going to get us all the way up? It's going to get us close. I think what we'll do is we'll have a canteen to top that off. Now, let's go out here and turn these lights on in case we have friends show up tonight. And that way we'll be ready for them. So far, it looks fairly quiet. Okay, so you keep working on that, and I'm going to grab... Uh, I'm not going to grab anything out of here. I am actually... Hold on, though. I'm going to grab these grubs. Okay. Let's... Uh, graduate our chicken. Uh, so we'll put the grubs in there and the extra water. Okay. Chicken has been graduated. And then we're going to get some water from there. Oh, it's actually morning. Wow. I didn't think we were out that long last night, but I guess we were. All right. Well, let's turn these back off then to save power. Because we can see good enough now if anybody comes along. At least the nights go by pretty quick in this in the game. I like that. I like that there to be a night just for immersion purposes and stuff, but I don't like them to last too terribly long. Put some more fat in there. Let's grab all of these. Oh, we gotta refuel our our fires here too. Um, so we have a little coal left over. We're going to, at some point, going to want to make another cave run. And let's put those waters in there. These guys can go in here. And now what we're going to do is go check our garden plots. We got our liver and onions that's finished. Oh, we already have 10 liver and onions. Eh, okay. Um, we have extra carrots here. Why don't we top this off with the carrots? Yeah, it still leaves us five carrots. Um, and we could stand to eat one ourselves to get that all the way up. And I guess I'll just hang on to those and try and, you know, try and eat them before they go bad. Uh, oh, no, actually, I'm not thinking straight. We'll turn those into seats. That's what we need to do. All right, let's take all of this and check all of our plots. So these potatoes are just a little bit over halfway. Um, I'm going to split that in half and that in half. And we'll probably, yeah, probably need to give those three. And the tomatoes. Okay, good. I'm really, you know, I've mentioned this before, but I'm really trying to avoid two refrigerators. We might eventually do two refrigerators. In fact, uh, refrigerators, we probably will almost certainly do two refrigerators eventually, but 
Not until I have, you know, more more power, more solar panels and that sort of thing set up. Okay, so that leaves us room. That doesn't leave us any room. What was I thinking? Uh, oh, no, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. So we have liver, we'll nosh on livered onions uh, to get those back down a little bit. Uh, we have six soups and five steak and eggs, so we're doing pretty good on that, I guess. I do also want to, you know, make more jam, uh, but to do that, we need to make more jars. And to do that, we need power and mass. Actually, let's look at that for a second. Um, I want to grab all of the fat out of here that we currently have. And let's put you back on. So we have just enough to make another lockpick. Let's do that first, because that's going to be more important. So we always have... I, I try and these days have like two lockpicks on me, but sometimes I don't always have that many. Uh, but at least one, right? At least one. It's nothing worse than passing up a lock crate and not being able to open it because you don't have a lockpick. It sucks. Put those guys in there. Okay, so let's see. We were going to look at... I want to go out and see if anything's happening out here. It's always best to catch these guys as they're coming because then they do minimal damage to the base and more damage to me. But we can manage that usually. Okay, so jars. We need jars. To make jars, we need 200 power per jar. That seems awfully expensive. Yeah, and we're going to have to wait for that to build back up again too. So, all right. Well, here, let's turn this off. Save some power there. We topped off our fires. We've topped off our crops. We need more chickens. That's what we need to do. And we need a little more wood. So why don't we go out and do another run? Um, I'm really low on normal arrows, though. So here's what we're going to do about that. Let's go. I know we need the nails, but we need the arrows, too. So we're going to pull 20 nails back out of here and 10 pieces of wood. make the sticks first and then when those are done we'll make um, 20 more arrows okay how about two if we uh, yeah let's just nosh on uh, on this liver and onions more 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 to get our protein up than anything else okay let's take one last look and just see if anybody's coming across the water Doesn't look like it. They'll probably wait until we're too far away to do anything about it, and then they'll come. <laughs> I mean, if I were them, I would. Maybe they've got a lookout, and they just watch for me to leave or something. Who knows? I think that's probably giving them too much credit. But anyway, let's go back out, grab some more wood, grab some more nails, see if we can find another locked crate. Um, and yeah, that. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. No one coming? All right. So, yeah, who knows where... Oh, there's a moose over there. Who knows where Charlie will m relocate to once we blow him up. But I think we should definitely um, prepare for them to do that over this way. It could certainly happen. How many premiums do I have? 15? Yeah, we could probably launch a premium at this guy. Oh, okay. Okay. We're not close enough to stop the base from getting damaged, but we are close enough to stop them. Let's run on back and intercept those bastages. Man, couldn't they have come, like, a couple of minutes earlier while we were still there? There goes more nails. <laughs> oh, well. That's part of the fun of the game. And boy, is it ever fun. No, it is. This game's awesome. Okay. You guys are asking for it. Where are you at? You're right over there. Alright. You got a partner with you? Is he stuck underneath the thing? Just you by yourself, huh? Alright. That's all right with me. 
Oh, there's a potato plant over there. We'll take that. Let's grab this and see I'm a little bit kind of don't want to leave now because usually when they start coming, they start coming. You know what I mean? Do we see the Bravo guy that's caught behind a fence over here? Because if he's over here, that means that was Bravo that just attacked us. Yep, he's right there. Okay. So, yeah, more more than likely that was Bravo that just attacked us, and apparently they only had one guy to spare <laughs> to send to his death. These guys are dedicated, man. I'm, I'm not going to lie. They... They've got, they have to have figured out by now that if they come against me, they're almost certainly not going to survive. I very, very rarely let them get away. I'll chase them down, man. Okay. Well, shoot. Shoot being the operative word. He, um, he did get a couple shotgun blasts off over here. Maybe we should check that. I, I'm just, I don't know, you guys. I, I don't think this is a good time for me to leave the base just based upon how these guys behave. I really don't think we should leave right now. Let's grab our hammer. Put this extra spud in here. Oh, we got a, over 100 potatoes, too. Man, we are just really doing good. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to... Do I have potato seeds in here? No. Let's turn all of these into seeds... Because that's how we can preserve them, right? Otherwise, we lose them. Um, so, yeah. Potatoes, carrots, onions. Onions are the one thing, you know, that we don't have as many of because we use those for m multiple dishes. Whereas I only use these for the, at least from what, you know, what I've been making, um, you know, for the big dishes. There are other things we could make. Like, we could... Um, we could do hash browns, but see, that uses onions also. We could do mashed taters. We could also make some just boiled eggs. And chicken stew uses onions. Yeah, onions are used for, like, everything. <laughs> it seems like, huh? Onions are used there, they're used there, they're used there, yeah. All right, well, anyway, it's a nice problem to have. It's a nice problem to have to have more than a full stack of veggies in the fridge. And what I might actually end up doing after this next <clears throat> crop matures is I'm probably going to leave the carrots and the potatoes unharvested. We'll just keep doing onions and tomatoes for now <clears throat> and let them get caught up. Because as long as I leave them in the crop plots, they won't spoil. Okay, so anyway, what are we doing? Oh, we're going to do some repairing. Uh, so let's grab some of those and some of those and some of those. All right. And... Let's just start checking things here because, yeah, that took some damage. That also, that needs a tap, a ruski. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's tap that. What the hell? So that dude was over here blasting his shotgun against the base. wonder if that's what he was hitting. Cause, oh, well, no. Not that. That has a little damage... Everything over here, as usual, seems to be fine. Got an ammo crate and a medicinal plant. What's some more nails? I should probably check on this side of the base at some point. I never do. <laughs> Just to see if it's, for, uh, by some weird chance, actually damaged. No, see, it's in perfect condition. It just doesn't get attacked over here. Um, that has like one nick in it. That's got a tiny bit of damage, but not enough to really worry about. Uh, what about where? It'll be easier to check these walls out here. Yeah, just, just a smidge of damage. Nothing really to worry about at all. 749 there. Okay, let's go back this way. Let's check down here. That needs a tap. 
these foundations don't usually get hit. Um, they can, right? But they don't usually get hit. The hunters are mostly trying to attack the walls or get, like, you know, lob a grenade or a Molotov over the wall. Okay, so these walls often take damage. Let's see. They're actually in pretty good shape. Oh, okay, that one. That one needs a little, a, little, a little attention. That one needs some attention. Everything on this side of the base, too, I it is my intention to eventually have it all upgraded to armor. Um, but, you know, I'm not making the armor. I'm just upgrading it as I find it in, like, lock crates and whatnot. What is that? 592? Yeah, that's pretty good. How about the stairs? Stairs are good. How about these stairs? Yep, they're good. All right, let's check down below. That needs a tap. That needs quite a bit of tap action. Anybody coming? No, that one's good. Let's check under here. Or, uh, nope, that's, I mean, a little damage, not enough to worry about, though. And then what we'll do is, well, oh, you know what? You guys were telling me in the comments, suggesting in the comments that I try the new triangle pieces to make a, a nice round corner here. So that's something I'm going to think about. The, you know, the only thing about that is, and I mentioned this as a response, is that, um, you know, I can't reuse or I can't change the shape of what we already have, right? So I would want to try and figure out a way to repurpose what we currently have and not waste it uh, if we make those changes. It's very expensive to, to do that, you know. Uh, but that doesn't mean we can't or won't. It's just I gotta I have to try and think it through so we can do it as you know as efficiently as possible, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Alright, just checking those guys. We didn't leave anything in there, did we? No. Okay. Last place we need to check is up here along the walkway. This thing, especially over around the corner here, takes a lot of hits. We are thirsty because we're hot. Um I would have turned my AC on except for I'm outside most of the time, so yeah. See, these took took some hits. In fact, I even lost one one of these upper pieces at one point and had to replace it. I think we're probably okay over here, but let's just check it anyway. All right, let's um hit a couple blueberry waters to counter that thirst. Well, they're not really sending anybody else after us, are they? Not until, like I said, I leave or yeah, something. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so I think I'm going to let you guys go here. And, I, again, I want to get back up to the 300 nails, get a few more boards going. And once we get to that point, let's grab these waters out of here, we will have a building episode. So that will probably be the next episode unless I decide instead that I want to, you know, take a trek over to the new area first. So... Um, those are the, the two things coming up in the next couple of episodes anyways. So guys, that is it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.